Hello, my friends. It's Darth Paradigm. This is going to be another uh, kind of a short video. Uh, my adventures in uh, Franken Sabers continues. Um, I had uh, acquired a Franken Saber that I had modified slightly with the uh, with the uh, this pommel from a uh, Mantis, and it had a um, a uh, Malice. Uh, blade emitter in this little section here and I was really quite fond of the saber overall I had named it the um, Azure Mal Reaper but uh, where these two pieces connected uh, this kept getting loose and uh, it would kind of move around inside here and it was sort of an endemic problem that probably could have been solved with uh, some Loctite or something, but I didn't really want to make that a, a permanent thing until I found possibly another solution. So in the meantime, um, I wanted to utilize some pieces that I had uh, from uh, an ancillary or an extra um, Mantis that I had, and I came up with this. And what this is, is this is the clawed section from the mantis that I didn't use. I, I had a, like I said, an ancillary, a second mantis uh, where the electronics were burnt out. So I have a complete mantis that I used the uh, non clawed emitter on, and uh, that one had come with this clawed section that I just hadn't used because it didn't seem to fit on the mantis. The the way that I used the, uh, the mantis, the, 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 the specific style of uh, swinging around it just it, it wasn't very conducive uh, so I threw this onto my uh, reaper body and uh, again this didn't seem to be the right fit with this uh, new emitter so I used the butcher pommel that came with this thing originally so now this is a true frankensaber in every sense of the word um, it has a butcher pommel the reaper body and a uh, mantis emitter with the claws. And uh, so this thing is going to need a name. So uh, I'm open to suggestions. So please give me um, <laughs> give me name suggestions in the comments if you could. And one of the other things uh, is with uh, the malice uh, emitter with this uh, little piece that connects it no windows and I kind of wanted windows on this thing so now check this out windows galore and this uh, this emitter stays on the body very solidly and the butcher uh, pommel is very loud, very throaty. And this is a very solid, well-balanced piece. I still have the, uh, I think this is a, it might be a, I haven't measured the blade. I think it was a brand new 37 inch uh, uh, Infinity V4 Saber Forge blade, but because of the blade depth, it shaves off a good, uh, I mean, this is, this is almost like eight inches here. So what ends up sticking out is about the proper length, about 32 inches. So it's a perfect, uh, perfect combination. The place with the switch, I still, as I'm swinging it, I keep hitting that and activating the lockup. Um, but that's, that's easy enough to compensate for. I was using episode one as the uh, sound font, but that didn't seem to fit with this new combination. Now I'm using uh, Black Star. I'm going to show you how this thing swings around. It has the weight, or almost the total weight of the uh, Mal Reaper. Which I like. It's a good workout saber. <laughs> it really feels like a battlefield weapon. Something that's just meant to take out swaths of enemies. 
But the real purpose of this thing is to kind of just build up stamina. When you spend enough time swinging this beast around, once you pick up a lighter saber, it's not nearly the, uh, not nearly the, the burn that might be without the exercise, so, anyway. Yeah. So I think I'm going to keep this uh, as it is. It's a, it's a very solid piece. Everything's staying together nicely. And uh, I think this is going to be a new thing for me. I'm going to be uh, probably doing more combos of, uh, um, you know, parts. I'm going to be probably buying... Uh, parts as I find them here and there, or maybe buy some more Franken Sabres and, and do some experiments and, and whatnot. It's just, it's a lot of fun. You can, uh, you can hate on Ultra Sabres all you want, but, um, there is definitely a, a fun aspect to them. Uh, so, you know, my collection is basically a lot of high end and a lot of low end stuff and some stuff in the middle. I don't, I don't really have a, you know, I don't really have a, any kind of issues with, with, uh, playing the entire field. I like the flexibility to pretty much buy whatever I want when the money's available. And, uh, yeah, anyway, that kind of wraps up this video. So, like I said, if you can, uh, conceive of a decent name that's not too offensive <laughs> that would be uh that'd be really cool i'm open to a uh, suggestion so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and uh you know please comment subscribe and uh like or dislike go for it whatever uh whatever works all right may the force be with you all and uh have yourself a good evening take care now bye